<sighs> I think we're going to have a rough night with my um, video camera today and the um, video because nothing is seeming to flow very easily with my computer today. So hopefully you can hear me and hopefully um, we can do a video and it shows up okay. Um, I probably need to change some settings but I'm not sure what to change on here because it doesn't give you much uh, speed and that kind of thing so and I'm not sure what kind of speed I'm supposed to have for my camera so anyways um, so here's hoping you can hear me and here's hoping I can see myself so I'm not speaking the same as my mouth is moving so that's always great <laughs> anyway I'll try to figure it out and see why it's now doing this and before it never did this before so um, we will see but hopefully you get to see my video um, I made a really cool card so well I really like it it, it turned out really neat so I got it um, I got the new catalog so that should be coming to everyone at the beginning of May um, so I sent in the order um, so everybody who um, usually orders from me I've sent you a catalog um, and one of the ideas in it was to use your blends to make paper. So the paper, the colors back here is actually using blends to make paper. So I thought this would be a good thinking of you or sympathy card. It's very simple. It's not very too busy or anything like that, but I thought it would be a good way of uh, doing that. So I'm just going to show you um, how to make this card. It's not a very hard card to make, um, but it's a lot of fun. So I'll bring you down here. Uh, just hoping we can see okay. Yeah, that should be good. So I did um, put measurements on all of my pieces of paper here. So we're just going to use a 18 and a half inch, but eight and a half inch by five and a half inch. And you just fold that in half um, to make your card. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second paper we cut, so um, we're just going to use a white sheet of um, the cardstock. It's four and a half by three and a quarter um, white cut in half. So that's our small piece and then our larger piece is three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches okay so there's three three pieces of white paper and the other little piece is right here so it's three and three quarters by three and a quarter and that is just our little piece here so i just took that and that is um uh, petal pink sorry I was going to call it blushing bright that's petal pink and so I did stamp on um, always thinking of you so I already did that part and I stamped it with just jade okay and I'll show you how to make the little um, cut out on that one so what we're going to do first is we're going to use our large card and I try to move some of the stuff back so you can see what I'm doing here okay and then we're going to take our actually we're going to do that second I'm going to do my coloring first so we're going to take the biggest piece of paper so that's the three and a half by four and three quarters and we're going to take our markers for that paper and make sure that's the smallest one and you're going to start with your darkest color in the middle and you're going to take the big end. Oops. And now we're coloring most of our papers, but don't worry about them like this being smooth colored. It doesn't matter if it's a little all over the place. So we're going to do a dark. And then we're going to do. The, so that's the dark just jade 
then you're going to do the light just straight right beside it and you're going to kind of make it blend so just like that and then the next color is the light uh, mint macaron or the dark mint macaron and then we're going to do the light mint macaron light beside it just to blend it in. You're going to use the big side. Hi Marlene! How did work go today Marlene? Was it pretty good? And then we're going to use the dark petal pink. And then you're going to use the light petal pink right at the end. The dark petal pink always looks like a, it almost when you're coloring in it, it looks like fluorescent. But it does um, eventually blend in. Then you're going to use light petal pink. Oh no, Marlene, that's crazy. I only did an extra half an hour today at my job and I'm exhausted. <laughs> We're kind of getting the same amount of people we used to get before COVID started and um, it's just very busy. You would think with a lock lockdown that we would be less busy, but we're more busy than we ever have been, so... I don't think the lockdown has stopped anybody from going out this time. So you're just wanting to go over top of it just to make it a little more dark at the ends. Kind of go over it until you, you're really liking the... I'm using the wrong color on the wrong spot. There we go. There we go. So I'm liking that. That makes me happy. Oops. Okay, so the green and the pink. Okay. And so the next part we're going to do is we're going to put that aside. So just leave that over here. And we're going to take our four and a half by three and a quarter paper. And you're going to take um, your glue dot. And you're going to place it down with one glue dot. So you just put the glue dot in the middle of the back of the sheet. Okay. I don't know if you can see that just like that. And then you're just going to put it into the middle of the paper. So make sure your area is balanced out pretty good. And then you're going to take your Just Jade stamp pad. I'm going to just move my markers out of the way before I end up bonking myself with the just Jade stamp pad because that would be great to get your whole sweater right in the Just Jade stamp pad. Okay. And of course I would do something like that because that's just my character. <laughs> just shove your whole fist or arm into a stamp pad. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp um, the very first size, so I'll show you the very first size um, images on here. So there's the uh, stamp. So we're going to use this um, leaves and the branch and leaves. And then we, we use the uh, Always Thinking of You stamp set or stamp for this one. So just those two. And so I'm just going to um, stamp it down. Oops, sorry everybody. It's probably shaking a little bit. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to stamp it down with the Just Jade. And I'm not going to smash it like I was doing there a minute ago. Um, I'm just going to bring that up a little bit. I think I bumped it down. And then you're going to go up the folded side. So you're going to go up the folded side with your stamp. So you're going to start at the bottom and you're going to try to go over to the right hand or the folded side and you're going to stamp it down. Okay, so just like that. Okay, and then we're going to do one more. And don't worry if this looks a little bit cluttered. Um, what's going to happen is when we do the when we do the little pink thing over top of it, it will look fine. We're just going to kind of cover it up with that. So like I said right there, it kind of gets a little bit busy. So what we can do is we can take that uh, thinking of you and go over top of that part. So it'll look like that. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that off. So you're going to take that off, take, get rid of this little sticky dot, and just get rid of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our paper and we're going to glue that down right on there. And then we're going to match those back up. So just like that. I don't know if you can see that very well. Okay, so you're going to just uh, glue that onto there and then glue that down onto the paper. And you're going to try to match up and my glue was here a minute ago. I'm just going to close up my Just Jade stamp bag because it's a wet one. And I don't want my sweater to be all full of it. Okay, so you're just going to take your, so tonight I'm using Stampin' Seal Plus. And you're just going to... Put that down on there and give it a little bit of a border. Like that. So it'll look like that. And then you're going to take it and you're going to careful that you don't get um, any on your fingers because that's what I just did and I stamped down my fingerprint but that's okay and then you're just going to match up your leaves so I'm not sure if you can see that very well but you're going to match up where your branches sit as best you can okay And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your little piece here, so your three and three quarter by three quarter piece, and you're going to stamp that down. And I think I'm going to place that right in the middle, if you can see that there. Um, just because I wanted to click cover up that big splotchy spot that I made. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors, so your stamp and snips. And you're just going to cut in the middle 
and then what you're going to do so I cut in the middle and what you're going to do is go down with your edge so you start with that corner and then you just follow it down to where you cut and then that triangle will fall off and then you do it with the other side Okay, and then you make a, and I'm going to turn this the other way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so what we're going to do with that is we're going to take that little piece and you're going to take your dimensionals I don't know if I can find them they're here somewhere, there they are so you're going to take your dimensionals and you're just going to put about four of them down because you want to balance it out so it doesn't look like it's buckling anywhere and you're going to start at your opposite side And you're just going to make it go right to the end. And then it's just like that. So it's a pretty simple card to do. And that's all. That one took me only about 20 minutes. So most of my tutorials take me almost half an hour to an hour to do that one takes me about 20 minutes so it's a very easy card but it would make a really lovely sympathy card and um, feel free to use any blends that you have to um, what the only um, thing with doing the paper part in the background is going from dark um, in the middle and then going out light um, just to make it blend a little bit better um, and like I said, I use the um, Mint Macaron uh, Just Jade um, Stampin' Blends and the uh, Petal Pink Stampin' Blends for that one. So those are the three colors I use. So you don't use tons of different colors with it unless you're wanting to make a rainbow. And then you could probably use all the colors in the rainbow if you'd like to. Um, that would be a really pretty card too. You probably would just want to make your saying piece white then because it would be a little bit too busy probably with a pink piece on it. Um, thank you Marlene and thanks for joining me. You always um, are usually not around when I do my videos um, but I'm enjoying that you're here tonight. Um, I usually do my videos on Tuesday. Um, this Tuesday I had a severe migraine. I had to stay home from work because of it. Um, I couldn't get out of bed. And when I did get out of bed, I barely could walk, so that was always fun. Um, so anyways, I'm feeling better today, and the rest of the week has been okay for that, so that's good. Anyways, so I'm hoping to see everybody next Tuesday. Um, for all of my people who do um, order from me, I will be sending you a card um, for my launch party. And my launch party is on, so I'm going to tell everybody about that. So I'm going to get out my dates because in my last email I sent out, I said it was in April and it's not in April, it's in May. So my launch party will be starting on Tuesday, May the 4th, um, Wednesday, May the 5th, and Thursday, May the 6th. So there's going to be three nights. Um, and then for the Saturday, I'm going to be um, doing orders. Um, so if anybody wants to put an order on the Saturday, it kind of gives Friday night um time for everybody to make their orders and figure out what they want and then uh, Saturday I'll be putting in the order and then on Sunday I'll be doing the draws for the prizes so I just wanted to let everybody know about that um, so that is uh, May the 4th 5th and the 6th and then the weekend I will be putting um, doing the prizes and so it's three days um, I'm going to show I have four stamp sets um, that I have bought and um, four stamp sets and I'll show you the new colors um, and the new uh, die cuts that go with those stamp sets and I'll show you some of the paper the new paper that we have also so thanks Irma
Thanks, Hannah. Thanks, Irma. Sorry, the messages? So something's weird with, I don't know if it's with everybody's Zoom lately, but my Zoom is um, not following how I'm talking usually. It's like three minutes behind for some unknown reason. So I have to change the speed somehow, but I don't know how to do that. Um, but hopefully, hopefully you guys got all my card making. Um, the card went by really, really fast. And hopefully everybody can um, join me for um, those uh, the launch party. And those uh, will be those three nights at 6 p.m. So probably 6 till 7. And then I'll take any questions or show anybody anything else that you want to see um, uh, between 6 and 7. Um, that's usually the times that people usually can watch me. So um, it'll be the Tuesday, Wednesday, and the Thursday. And then the Friday will kind of take a break for people to be with their families and um, let me know what they want to order. And Saturday will be our ordering day. And then Sunday will be our... Um, prize day so that's super exciting anyway so thank you so much for joining me everybody and sorry i didn't see the messages till now and um we will see you next tuesday for another card thank you have a great night